Hello, everyone. I can't believe you have such a crowd, 5.30 at, on a Friday. Yeah. Um, anyway, I'm Jahan Ali from the Partnership for New York City Fund. We recently changed our name from the New York City Investment Fund. So uh, we are a different organization from most VCs, investors. So let me uh, give you a little background on us. Partnership for New York City is a CEO member organization. So the top 200 CEOs in New York City area are members. And the organization takes policy positions on behalf of these large businesses. We are their investment and economic development arm. Our money was raised from some of these corporations in 1996 by Henry Kravitz. Each corporation is a small investor. Um, we, they created our fund basically to focus on uh, businesses in the five boroughs. So we have a geographic focus. We only invest in companies in New York City. Um, we invest in a sector agnostic manner, but we have a geographic constraint. Um, we invest in three different areas, which we basically say seed future growth, which is companies like yourselves. Uh, we also do public-private partnerships, so we work with the city in supporting them in different programs and initiatives to, for, as an example, the bike share program that will launch in New York City. <clears throat> and third, our investments are in community development, and that is investing in inner city areas, um, more growing neighborhoods, uh, supporting, re these are mostly retail businesses that we give loans to. So those are the three areas of our investment focus. On seeding future growth, we invest in companies directly, as well as we do a number of prog programs. So to give you an example, we, have, we run a program, an accelerator with Accenture called the FinTech Innovation Lab. So if there are any fin uh, financial services companies, please do see me or go to our website and you will get information on this program. Uh, FinTech Innovate, we kind of leverage our relationship with these large corporations to do these accelerators. Uh, the FinTech Innovation Lab, uh, companies applied to it that are basically trying to sell something to large banks. And what we bring to the table is we have about 12 large banks who are participating in the program and they have agreed to mentor and give feedback to these companies. Um, the program, um, we just finished the second year, I mean, starting a third year of the program. It's been very successful, and um, now London is launching this program. So many of the companies have gotten funding. Um, it's been a successful program. Uh, another program that I'm more involved in, since I'm involved in the healthcare sector at the fund, is the Digital Health Accelerator. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize. Um, we're doing a program focused on health IT companies, and we've partnered with a state organization whose mandate is to basically connect the electronic medical records across New York State. Um, basically, what they're trying to do is, so if you were in Rochester and now you're seeing a physician in Sinai, the doctor can pull up some of your records and see you know, your medical history, et cetera. In doing that, they found four areas of gap, and we asked companies to who, were, who had solutions, IT solutions, to these clinical problems in these areas to apply. We had about 250 companies apply, and they're going through, through this accelerator program. It's a nine-month program, and in this case, we pair the companies with hospital providers across New York State. Each company gets about three uh, mentors from hospitals. There's about 22 hospitals across New York that are participating. Uh, Third program is called the BioAccelerate Prize, and that is focused on the biotech arena, and I won't go into it. Um, anyway, if anybody wants to learn more about our fund or um, uh, the types of investments we do, please uh, see me. Okay, thank you. Thank you.